hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Ngozi Ekeleme and if you're seeing me for the first time hi and please I hope you consider subscribing um, so straight into today's video I am going to be dishing out tips and information um, things you should consider before putting the application to Canadian school so this is like for international students if this is something that you're interested in or you know someone that will actually benefit from this then sit back and let's get into it the first thing is you have to decide what degree do i want or what degree do you want do you want phd do you want masters do you want diploma I know PhD is for four years, master's between 12 months to 18 months or even more. I know diploma runs from 12 months to 24 months. It all depends on your program and what you're doing. So you have to decide what degree do I want. Number two, then you choose the program that you likely be interested in. Let's say, biotechnology right you google schools in canada offer biotech and a couple of them will pop up and then you check the course outline compare more than one school check their course outline see oh this school offers this this one offered offers this and then you make up your mind you know the school that you should follow the one that you should apply to you can also check if the schools are accredited so make sure that the program that you're coming for will offer you the postgraduate work permit. So if you're doing a program that is just one year, you get one year postgraduate work permit. But any program that's above 16 months, you would automatically get the three year postgraduate work permit. So you have to do your research. Number three, if you have any question, reach out to the school, ask them as much questions as you want. Someone will respond. Don't be shy. It's only a question, right? Why not ask if you're not sure and also make sure you check for school fees so each program will have you know probably at the bottom where they tell you how much the fees is per semester or per term you need to be sure check that out i would also say you may you should check the school make sure you have the requirements if they're asking for your transcript your academic standing make sure you you like you check all those so that by the time you apply, they are not denying you because, oh, they told you that we wanted people who have this certain grade and you didn't fall into that. So make sure you check the requirement and see that you meet the requirement. So now there's college, there's university. And if you graduate with a college degree, you're going to get a diploma or an advanced diploma. Like in my case, I got an advanced diploma because I did... Um, advanced biotechnology so I got an advanced diploma number four say you want to go to the university you have to choose between thesis based or cost based right so a thesis based is basically saying research and research methodologies so you're going to conduct a research I think before you graduate cost based it is more structural and it focuses on application of knowledge. Now that's kind of, you know, that's what I would say the difference is. So you have to decide which of them you want. For my master's degree, I did a course-based degree and I totally loved it. So it's up to you if you want to do thesis or course-based degree. Okay, number five, you have to start applying early. If you're thinking of coming to Canada, please start applying early. I know there are three times in the year you could, you know, come in. You have fall, which is September. You have winter semester, which is January. And then you have summer semester, which is June. If you're coming for a master's program, you, I think it takes like a year. I know it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but by the time you apply in January, right? Schools don't get back to you till april april may and then you still have visa wahala on the other corner so you apply on time so that you can get everything done and 
come to Canada before school starts so that you don't miss classes and you know it's a whole lot so applying early or you start application early is key and also apply to more than hmm, say two to three schools if not even more I know application fee is a lot but please apply just in case one doesn't work the other ones will work so this is my last tip I don't even know what number this is <laughs> I kind of lost track of that but the last tip I have is so when you're applying for your master's program right they would ask for like a personal statement or essays I just call them essays I remember for me I had to write three so they asked me like something leadership when i realized this was what i wanted to do there were three questions and they would tell you oh this one minimum of one page maximum of this page they would tell you the font size they would tell you everything and please follow instructions because first of all if you don't even follow the instructions i'm not even sure it would get to the people who would eventually read your paper and decide if you should be admitted or not so make sure you follow instructions when you write your essays or personal statements, give it to people who you trust or people who would help you vet and make corrections and critique you. You can give your friends to read, they will cross check it for you, or you give people in that field where you're hoping to get into. So they'll tell you maybe terminologies you should use and how you should direct it, right? So that is a very huge tip. So for your essay it's very important to you know put in your best and give your best so that you get a chance of gaining admission because your essays to me I feel is one of the things that finally seals the deal in getting an admission because you're literally selling yourself there so they're like okay we want to see what you have to offer so make sure you give it to people who you know would critique you and tell you okay think about this this way because at the end of the day they're trying to get you the admission so yeah i have finally come to the end of this video i hope it was insightful i hope it was helpful i hope you picked one or two things from here and if you stayed this far i hope you subscribed and if you haven't don't forget to subscribe thank you so much i would see you guys in my next video till then you all take care Bye.